Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain regenerative repeater with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. See, in this video, first of all, I will discuss about objectives of regenerative repeater. After that, I will explain block diagram of regenerative repeater. And at last, I will discuss about elements of regenerative repeater. So let us start this video with first agenda that is objectives of regenerative repeater. First of all, you need to understand why should we use regenerative repeater. See, regenerative repeater is used to extend transmission range. For example, if you transmit signal from one end to other end, then that range is limited. Why? The reason is as and when signal is propagating through medium, there are two issues that is getting added with signal. One is attenuation of signal and second is noise is getting added with the signal. So due to attenuation and noise, you cannot transmit signal to long distance. And to have long distance transmission, if you use regenerative repeater in between, then you can extend transmission range, right? Now I'll discuss about how one can regenerate signal. So there are three objectives that you need to understand. See, first is reshaping of incoming pulses. Due to additional noise with signal, there will be shape distortion and that can be eliminated with the use of equalizer, right? So reshaping of incoming pulses that we perform by equalizer. Second objective is extracting timing information. Here we are transmitting digital signal. So there will be zeros and ones that we will be transmitting serially, right? So here it is very essential to understand at what instant there is zero or one. And to understand that we need to extract timing information and that we perform with the use of timing extraction unit. And third objective is to make decision for given pulse. So at last we need to understand with given pulse whether there is zero or one and that decision that we take with the use of sampler and decision making unit. Now let me explain block diagram of regenerative repeater. So here we are having one digital signal. Let me draw one digital signal that is having one then zero zero one one and zero and here if I plot this, then it is appearing somewhat like this, right? And this signal that we will be transmitting through medium. So after some distance, there are two things that is happening. One is attenuation and second is noise is getting added. So after transmission medium, there will be attenuation of signal. So you'll be observing signal is weak in terms of strength and somewhat noise that is getting added with signal, right? So now this is what weak signal, right? And there is noise as well. So here, see first block is preamplifier and equalizer. See here equalizer will be reshaping the signal, right? So if there is shape distortion with this signal, then that shape distortion that is getting eliminated by equalizer. And as this signal is weak in strength, here we will be having pre-amplifier that will be amplifying signal, right? So after this block, now we will be having this signal that is now strong in strength, right? And still there will be some noise that one can say, right? The reason is this block, this block that cannot eliminate noise, right? It can reshape only. This equalizer that can reshape the signal, but it cannot eliminate noise. Here pre-amplifier that is amplifying signal, right? So it will amplify noise as well as signal. It cannot separate both, right? Now see this signal that we give it to sampler and decision as well as we give it to timing extraction unit. See timing extraction unit 
that will be giving idea about timings. It will be giving idea about at what instant that should be decision making, right? So what it does is it will be giving impulses. What it does is it will be giving impulses and this impulses that is indicating that at this instance, this block should take decision, right? So here, if I say we have this signal and with this particular signal, with this particular signal, let us take we have timing E1. So if I provide timing over here, then see at given instances, at this given instances, we need to take decision, right? And this decision making unit, it will take decision like here there is one, then we have two zeros, then there is one, then again we have one and then we have zero. So after decision making block, there will be digital data. Now this digital data that is given to regenerator and this regenerator that will be generating this signal again, right? So that is how this regenerative repeater is functioning. First of all, what it does? It will be pre-amplifying signal and it is passing through equalizer. Equalizer will reshape this signal and pre-amplifier that will amplify this weak signal. And this signal that we give it to sampler and decision circuit as well as we give it to timing extraction unit. Timing extraction unit will give idea about at what instances this sampler and decision making circuit should take decision and decision will be based on instances at what instant there is zero or one that is being decided by this block once we have digital data that we give it to regenerator circuit and that will be generating this signal again right so that is how this entire block diagram is there now let me explain each of these elements one by one First is equalizer. Primary goal of equalizer is to reshape received signal. You can observe after transmission medium, there are two issues with this signal. One is attenuation and second is noise is getting added. Due to noise, there will be shape distortion with this signal. That shape distortion that can be eliminated by equalizer, right? So there will be pulse distortion that may lead to inter-symbol interference. It is primarily caused by pulse dispersion. The characteristic of equalizer that should be inverse of transmission medium. The reason is due to transmission medium, noise is getting added with this signal, right? See, second element is pre-amplifier. As I have told you, here this received signal that is weak in strength. Why the reason is there is attenuation after some distance. For larger distance, there will be more attenuation. If I say here we have a signal that is ranging from 0 voltage to 1 voltage, then after some distance, but obviously this signal that will be there in terms of millivoltage and after few more kilometers, there can be voltage in terms of microvolt, right? So received signal is weak in strength. So we need to amplify it. So with the use of pre-amplifier, we will be amplifying this. So as and when you amplify this signal, at that time you will be amplifying signal as well as noise, right? So pre-amplifier that will be amplifying signal as well as noise. The reason is it cannot distinguish in between signal and noise. That leads to noise amplification, right? But in digital receiver, it is not necessary to receive exact shape of the signal. Decision making can determine whether given data is 0 or 1, right? So therefore, in the equalizer and pre-amplifier stage, there is a trade-off between reducing distortion and minimizing noise amplification, right? Now, let me discuss about second element that is timing extraction. See, timing extraction that can be done by three different methods. In first method, we will be having derivation of timing from 
primary or secondary standards. So here there will be master timing information with the use of device and that device will be high cost device. It can be used as if we have high volume data or higher data speed. Second method of timing extraction is based on transmitting separate synchronizing signal. Here we will be transmitting signal along with pilot carrier. With the use of pilot carrier, one can extract timing information. Here we need more power. The reason is along with signal, we transmit pilot carrier, right? So here channel capacity should be higher than the signal bandwidth. Why the reason is along with signal, we transmit pilot carrier. And in third method, there will be self synchronization. There won't be any pilot carrier that is low cost solution and there will be lower power transmission, right? Now, next element is timing jitter that is very essential. See here, there are few issues that I have already discussed. Like you can observe here we have noise, here there is attenuation, here we have timing extraction and then we will be having decision making, right? But after decision making also there is a possibility that we may have false decision and that is possible due to timing jitter. Let me explain how. Let me consider one digital signal. Let us say here we have one digital signal and that is ideal digital signal, right? There is no issue with this digital signal. Now here, let me consider that here we have one, then we have two zeros, then we have again one and then zero. That is how digital data is there. But in timing jitter, what happens is there is variation in pulse position. So due to timing jitter, it is possible that you may receive this age at different instances, right? So you may receive this age at different instances. And as if you receive this age at different instances, then there is a possibility that you may take decision at different location. Right. So if you have variation in pulse position, that is timing jitter, then you may take decision at false location. And if it is there at false location, then there can be intersymbol interference as well as there can be pulse distortion. Right. And at last we are taking decision with the use of sampler and decision with the use of timing extraction unit and with the use of received signal. See here we have received signal after preamplification and equalizer and here we have timing extraction. So with the use of both of this, we will be taking decision at given instances, whether it is zero or one. So now we will be having digital data and this digital data that we give it to regenerator and the regenerator will be regenerating this digital signal again, right? So that is how all these elements are there with regenerative repeater. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.